Hey YouTube, it is your girl Shant Holly 89 and now it is time for my WWE overview uh, of what's been going on recently. Um, as you um, may know, um, Paul Bear has passed away. Paul Bear, he, when I, my first impression of Paul Bear was I was creeped out. I thought this man was creepy. Like, he is so creepy. Like, he kind of scared me a bit. He and The Undertaker just, oh my gosh. I For a long time, I was scared of The Undertaker. I was so afraid of uh, being a little kid, seeing them together. I was like, oh my gosh, these people are creepy. Um, creeped me out. But he was so entertaining. He creeped me out, but yet he intrigued me. Yet I was like, you're creepy, but I like you. I'm intrigued. I'm interested. He was a good, um, a good manager. He was so good. And one of the best managers in the business. Um, and um, Paul Bear, a.k.a. William um, Moody, um, may you rest in peace. So rest in peace, Paul Bear. Um, and no, and um, I know, I know I'm, I'm a little lost for us because I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little choked up about it. I'm very sad. Um, it's always sad to hear about, um, a death in the it's basically like a death in the family it's really sad and uh, may you rest in peace Paul Bear um, you will be um, forever missed may you rest in peace okay on to um, lighter news um, we are on the road to Wrestlemania and it looks like a shitty road at that okay the main event we know it's the rock versus Cena too if you thought that there was not going to be a Rock versus Cena 2, please, come on. Um, we know that CM Punk is going to face The Undertaker. And judging by um, tonight's um, performance of CM Punk, um, wow. <laughs> I mean, wow. Uh, he, he, um, he didn't wrestle, but he was... Um, very interesting with how that went down with the whole the show was in tribute to the late Paul Bear and him they did a a, a beautiful um the intro to Raw was very beautiful it was a very beautiful tribute to Paul Bear and then you had the Undertaker come out and he was carrying the urn and he was going to pay his tribute and then you have of course CM Punk interrupting god ooh he got booed I thought that was so disrespectful, but you know, hey, if CM Punk is he, CM Punk is just doing his job, and if I'm mad, and if he's drawing heat, and you got me mad, then that's a, then you're doing your job. So I I like where they're going with it. I really do because you know, here you have you know. Now you and you have two actually. You have Undertaker and Kane is now involved in it, in it. So it's like you've got two people who are pissed at you because not only were you insensitive, you and they're this, this is their father. I mean, this is a man who has been with them for years, and this is their father. And I was like, wow. I mean. Just wow, just so disrespectful, but hey, he, he's doing his job. He's a heel, that's what he does. And if you make me mad as a fan, you're making me mad, then you're doing your job. So I have nothing against that. So I was a little, I was like, uh-uh. I was like, no, he didn't. So yeah, you got me mad, and you know you've done your job right as a heel. Um, also, there's, the, um, there's Brock Lesnar versus Triple H. There is... Um, um, Alberto Del Rio versus Jack Swagger, and we all know about Jack Swagger's DUI. My personal opinion on Jack Swagger, I don't think he deserved to be in the main event in the first, to be, not main event, to be in the World Heavyweight um, Championship match in the first place. He did not deserve to win the Elimination Chamber. That's just my opinion, and hey, I just don't. I'm like, you were gone for six months and nobody cared. Now you're back with um, Dutchman, Dutchman Dell, um, and who is Deb Coulter. Um, this un-American gimmick, this, um, not un-American, this um, real American gimmick. And I'm supposed to care? I care more about Zeb Coulter than I do Jack Swagger, to be honest. And in the end, 
it's really only gonna all people really care about is them, not Jack Sparrow. Because six months nobody cared, and now you're back. You won the elimination chamber, and then of course you got pushed, and then you go and you ruin it by getting high. You couldn't wait till you got back to the hotel to get high, or you know you chose to drive while under the influence. I think that is just wow. I mean. To me, it's just no words to, to describe it. I, when I heard the news, I'm like, wow. I said, and that right there proves my point that he did not deserve to um, be in the World um, Heavyweight um, Championship match at WrestleMania. I don't think he deserved it because he was gone for six months. I mean, if you're, anyone deserves it, it is um, Daniel Bryan. Um, oh, gosh. Um Dolph Ziggler, Kofi Kingston, anybody who has been there all year long and who has busted their ass deserves to be, at least have a shot at the um, title. At least have a shot at the um, World Heavyweight Championship belt. At least have a shot at that. Because to me, that just, you bringing all these people back and all these people who've been gone for months and then being people who've been gone for years back and you don't even focus on the younger talent coming up. But then got the nerve to say they're lazy when they're busting their ass day in and day out trying to, you know, trying to get into the main event scene and you don't give a crap about them. Which is sad because it's like, why should I care about the young... Uh, you're, as a fan, I'm looking at it like, okay, well, why should I care about this person when you don't care? You know, yes, I see this person is busting their butt. I'm sure they're being away from their families. They're do, working hard. But if you don't push them, why should I care? Honestly, why should I care? Why should I give a crap? It makes no sense. Why should I care about, about you? Why? The office is the office doesn't care, so why should I? Because you're not pushing them. And I know you have to get over with the fans. Well, you don't push them. Hey, you know, just give them the chance. And if they can't get over, then okay. But give them a chance work on give them a good gimmick how about that give them write a better storyline you know how about that write better storylines and then maybe they can get over maybe it can be intriguing do something new and exciting oh but wait you do something new it's exciting it's hot and then you and then you make sure you if it's so good you make sure you bury that person and the storyline as well so please you know it's like spare me and I know I can sit here it's easy for me to sit behind my computer and complain and complain I don't know what's going on in the WWE offices I don't know but I'm just giving my opinion and this is my opinion as a fan okay um I don't know what about the other matches, but those matches I mentioned, that's what's happening. That's our, Those are definite matches that are happening at um, WrestleMania. Okay, now I am going to go into talking about the main event, which is Rock versus Cena 2. Okay, like I said, we knew this was going to happen. I mean, don't be surprised. But what really irked me about this was the way they're they're um, um, pushing the storyline. The storyline is about redemption. And it's Cena's redemption. Now I am a die. I love Cena. And I will admit. But I also know. What is wrong with the. I also. I will also. You know. I'll defend him. And to a degree. But I will also say what's on my mind and say what I think is wrong with this. What I think is wrong with this storyline, this um, this push they're doing for the storyline, this buildup, is what the hell does Cena have to come back from? What is he? Re redemption, my ass. 
excuse my language, but redemption, my ass. You, Cena has main evented almost, if not every pay-per-view last year. And he didn't seem all that upset that he lost to The Rock and Brock Lesnar. But yet it's a redemption story. How? How is this a redemption story? What are you coming back from? You're the man. You're John Cena. What do you have to come back from? It just pisses me off that they're, um, the buildup for this match is a redemption story. And I get people say, well, John Cena is Superman. He, they're building him like Superman. But even Superman got his ass kicked every once in a while. If you want me, the customer, the fan, to buy or go see Mania, you need to have an interesting buildup. This is not a redemption story. This is bullshit. What do you have to come back from, Cena? Nothing. He has nothing to come back from because he didn't seem all that upset that he lost to The Rock. He didn't seem all upset that he lost to Brock Lesnar. He's not upset. I mean, I don't know if he lost. Excuse, well, forget the Brock Lesnar part because I don't really remember that match. But he didn't seem all upset that he lost to The Rock. I mean, I don't think he lost to Brock Lesnar. I think he won that. I don't know. You know, I, I tuned that out, but if I'm wrong, let me know. But he didn't seem all upset that upset that, that he lost to The Rock. So why is he upset now? Now it's like a redemption story. They're trying to build him like he's an underdog. I'm sorry. You've won the WWE title over 10 times. And you're the underdog. I'm sorry. That's bullshit. And they want to complain about Ray being billed as an underdog. Okay. Really, with Ray, when they build Ray Mysterio as a underdog, it kind of makes it's like okay, he's an underdog because of his size, but then they're kind of like undermining that. But with Cena, but at least with Ray, it's legitimate. You can say okay, he's an underdog because of his size, because when people look at him, they don't see. Ray Mysterio, they just see this little man in my way. They don't see the veteran. They don't see the guy who's been decorated with all these titles. They don't see that. They see a short guy in a mask. Which I understand their reasoning for making Ray the underdog because of his size. But everything else, that's bullshit. Now with Cena, you're making him the underdog when he is pretty much the man. He's on every Raw. He's He was main of any every pay-per-view. How in the world is he the man? I mean, sorry, how in the world is he an underdog? I don't understand this. It makes no sense. It really doesn't. Okay, um, I'm running out of time, but stay tuned for part two of my WWE overview, The Road to WrestleMania. Toodles.